In this question number 98, we have to look for the plants in which the stamens, they have different length. Now, such type of the condition is present in these two family, that is Brassicaceae and Laminaceae. In the Brassicaceae family, there is tetradynamous condition mainly. Now, what is there in the tetradynamous condition? There are six stamens. Now, outer two are small and inner four are large. Outer two small, inner four large. So, you are going to represent it as A2 plus 4. In the Laminaceae family, there is a didynamous condition. Now, the outer two stamens are long and inner two stamens, they are small. So now we have to look for the members which belongs to these two families. Indo Indigofera, Fabaceae family. Fabaceae. Yes, Susbania. This is again Fabaceae. Salvia. Yes, Lamiaceae family. So different lengths of the stamen. Alium, aloe, they belong to Liliaceae family. Now mustard, Brassicaceae family. So different lengths of the stamens would be there. Groundnut again, Fabaceae, Radish, Brassicaceae family, Gram, Fabaceae and Turmip, the last one is also member of Brassicaceae family. So Salvia, Mustard, Radish, Turnip. Yes, four of them, they have stamens which show differential length. So the right option this, for this question is option number two. So let's discuss question number 99 here. So question number 99, radial symmetry is found in the flowers of Casea, belong to the Sizzle Pinaceae family. Uh, there is presence of bilateral symmetry. Pisum, trifolium belong to the Fabaceae family. Again, bilateral symmetry. Brassica, mustard family, that is Brassicaceae. There is presence of radial symmetry. So, the right answer is option number one. Now, question 100. Free central placentation is found in. Now, if you talk about the citrus, exile placentation is there. Argimon, Brassica, same family, Brassicaceae, parietal placentation, Dianthus, free, placent, free central placentation. So the right option is answer number one. So now let's discuss question number 101 here. Now question number 101, cortex is the region found between. Now, this is the sequence of the tissues from outer towards the inner side, inner root. Now, the outermost layer is epidermis, inner to it, uh, there is cortex, yes. the innermost layer of the cortex is known as endodermis. Now, then there is pericycle, vascular tissue, pith. Now, pericycle vascular tissue pith that represents steel. Yes, these three constitute steel. So, between the epidermis and the steel, the part which is present that is cortex. So, we have to look for the option. Now, the first option is the right option that it is the tissue between the epidermis and steel. So, the right answer for this question is option number one. Now coming to the question 102, the balloon shaped structures called tylosis. After so many years, this question has come. Now this is related to the vascular tissue that is the xylem. Let's say this diagram which I am making here that represent vessel which is a tube like structure. This is vessel. Now. Near the vessels, there is presence of xylem parenchyma. This is xylem parenchyma. Now, the xylem parenchyma, which is present near the wall of the vessel, this is known as paratracheal xylem parenchyma. Now, what happens in the old secondary xylem? Try to understand it. In the old secondary xylem, 
Now the xylem, xylem parenchyma cells, uh, they form in growth inside the vessel. Yes, they form in growth inside the vessel and they block the vessel. So these balloon like structure which you can see inside the vessel that represent tylosis. Now the tylosis they prevent the conduction of vessel. They prevent the conduction of vessel so they are also known as tracheal plugs. So now we have to look for the right option here. So that is the option number three are extensions of xylem parenchyma cell into vessel. So the right answer for this question is option number three. So let's see now question number 103 here. 